Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. The next sign I'm going to do right now is for Leo. Okay, nice. Okay, Leo, let's see what we can expect for you moving forward. I'm doing these generals right now just a little bit early, but I had a really, really, really great uh, outcome for Taurus, and I decided I wanted to do a quick Celtic cross for you guys and offer my oracle guidance for you guys when I do see something, and very likely I will just put it on every card. You guys know I do things a little bit differently. I just kind of wing it all the time. Okay, so... Based on what I feel, what I see that catches my attention, let's see if they have really good intentions and what you guys can expect. I don't feel like you guys are dealing with um, third party issues, so that's good. Let's see if you guys are focused on maybe your finances, your, your career, and perhaps uh, the home unit, family life. I know a lot of Leos, you guys are just charging forward and... Well, we will find out right now. Okay. All right, Leo. New beginnings, yes. And lovers, if not dealing with the Gemini. Okay, cards feel about ready. Every time my cards feel easier to shuffle, they just make me feel like, yeah, slow new beginnings. They just make me feel like, um, you guys aren't dealing with heavy situations and not really... Uh, focus on conflicts right now, but I felt like doing that again. Okay, so right now, Leo, King of, okay, this could be you guys, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you guys have a decision. Is it passion or is it uh, finances, it looks like, or career? Or maybe you're trying to figure out if you want a fire sign or an earth sign. You guys are trying to find balance. I feel like it's heavily dealing with something in uh, materials, something earthly matters. In the past, perhaps you left somebody out in the cold or they left you out. Sadness, sorrow, grief, regret, but what's in your outcome? Wow, you have three kings right here. You guys are going to come out with loving, affection. You have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces that's crowning in your thoughts. This, is, this card is the only one upright right now for me, you guys, and this is the one that I want to see for a love reading. He's the most compassionate, most loving uh, king out of all the kings here. You guys are trying to balance, and I feel like a lot of you guys are trying to let go of somebody. A lot of you guys are trying to balance your emotions with work. Okay, because what's coming towards you right now is... Let's see. Okay, judgment in reverse. Okay, you guys are trying to really, uh, you're unable to let go of something. Whatever this is from the past, uh, a little bit depressed, sadness, sorrow, grief, regret, five of cups, whatever that is, I feel like it's coming towards your way. You guys are going to have to make a decision. Um, you guys feel a little bit uh, blocked or weak right now uh, due to whatever it is, but... I feel like with this King of Cups being here, you guys will be just fine. I feel like maybe it's something of in the past you guys have to let go because while everything is all happening, it's Ten of Swords and it's reverse. You guys, there's going to be improvement. You guys already suffer the worst. Ten of Swords is a lot of pain, grief, sadness, sorrow, but that is the most swords you can get and it came out in reverse. So you guys are coming out of it. There's improvement and you guys already feel that. But there's a decision coming towards you that you guys will have to make. And I think that's what you guys are currently doing because you're having to balance that out right now with the Six of Pentacles. That's showing me, you know, there's a lot of flow of resources, rebalancing, whatever it is. You guys are going to take your time to start on it. Page of, pen page of Wands, and maybe an earth sign heavily. Page of Wands in its reverse is telling me you guys... Uh, are expecting bad news, maybe you guys have to let go of a water sign or maybe expecting bad news from a water sign because I just did Pisces and they had the same card in the same position. Justice in the environment. Okay, you guys may be also be dealing with the Libra. If not, let's see what is this. Really mentally bound to a situation but wanting to take forward action, making a leadership, rulership, authoritative decision. Justice in your environment <clears throat> and its reverse is telling me if it's not a Libra that you guys feel like it's some kind of injustice. 
um, unfairness, imbalance, some dishonesty went on. And maybe they feel that way, or maybe they feel that way towards you. Because right now, your hopes and fears is the wheel. You want things to change and go on the up and up. And I feel like it is with the wheel upright, but you guys really need to make a decision, especially with the judgment here in reverse and now the hangman. Things will be presented to you guys. Things will come towards you, but there is a decision making you have to make. That's what you're crossed with. Six of Pentacles and the upright. You have to try to find um, some kind of balance in some kind of way. Yeah, King of Swords in the past. Maybe you guys are trying to leave behind an air sign. Uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But this King of Cups here, clarified by the Page of Swords and it's reversed. Okay. I feel like that's what you guys are doing since you guys uh, maybe have to be a little bit more... I feel like you guys are expecting or thinking that this person is going to bring you bad news. And that's why you guys and the outcome is going to be hanging in a tree. Why are you guys hanging in my tree? Okay, Ace of Swords and it's reverse. You guys, I feel like whatever this is, bad timing, uh, bad decision making, you're trying really hard to find some kind of truth and clarify everything, but for some reason, I feel like it is just bad timing that this all occurred. I'm not really picking up anything strong. I'm not really getting that, like, third-party issues. I'm just feeling strongly this is a some kind of conflict, uh, possibly spying about a third-party issue. But you guys um, don't really know if it has something to do with the water sign. Water sign wanted to make itself known to me again. Uh, justice in its reverse. I, let me see what this is. You guys have heavy king energies here. King of Wands, King of Pentacles, and King of Cups. Now King of Swords also. You have all four of them. Letting go of your burden, something from the past, just staying with yourself, going through the truth. Okay, yeah. Okay. You feel like you have to make this decision very selfishly because you're a little bit at the same time trying to balance your... You're relying on others to help you make the decision, I feel. Because you're very on guard right now. You really don't know. You expect them to put up... You expect them to give you another fight, something with, you know, leaving you out, feeling out in the cold. But you guys are trying to make a uh, head over heart decision at the same time. You feel so much love and compassion. And, you know, um, you really, really love this person. But at the same time, you guys really do not know. And that's why you guys feel like half of you guys have to, I'm not going to say half of you anymore. I'm just going to try to give it as general as I can. So I know a lot of you guys will not be able to relate but um, or to its entirety. But just know that generally all of you guys, whatever situation it is, you guys need to make a decision. Something with the home, something with finances, something with careers, something with letting go of your burdens, needing to make a decision. But they are, they are feeling that there's some kind of injustice because that's what it's in your environment. They're letting go of their burdens. If you guys just had a very heated quarrel, Ten of Swords is why everything is all happening. You guys are improving, but Ten of Swords is what you're improving from. So it's a lot of pain, sadness, grief. I'm feeling a lot of pain and at the same time a lot of exciting movement forwards. You have the wheel and it's upright. It's trying to find this truth, trying to stick to traditions, trying to stick to what's known. Um, you know, the established system, trying to get advice, and you guys are going to have a great new beginning if you guys are dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, possibly even marriage. I got the higher thing here with the Queen of Cups. Okay. <clears throat> but there is a little bit of spying going on. There's a little bit of relying on others to maybe help you guys make a decision. You guys really don't know just yet. But I feel like uh, maybe it was someone who's an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, that left you guys out in the cold. So now you guys have a little bit of pain. There's a little bit of residual pain coming from your end. I'm feeling that's why you guys have a lack of passion. Not that, you know, intense energies that Leos have. You guys charge forward. You're very fiery. But for some reason, there's a little bit of um, dimish in your flames. You guys are kind of coming out from something in the past that's like keeping you a little bit like bound in some way. See, 
I feel strongly has something to do with some heated arguments with an air sign, or you guys are just really sticking to logics right now and ruling out all emotions. Yeah, too much work. Whatever it was, you guys, I'm strongly feeling I will do these kind of fast right now. Uh, let me name the signs. It was Libra, Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Queen of Water. It's so funny. All of the three signs, all the three of them that I've done so far all came on top of each other. This Queen of Cups that you guys are feeling while everything's all happening at the same time you're healing from this sadness, this loss, this grief, you know, it's improving. It's, you know, clarified this Queen of Cups came out with the Queen of Cups. You guys have a relationship that's going to develop to a new level. Just trust in it and care for yourself and others. Hierophant is here. Maybe stick to what you guys already know. Um, there's probably even going to be marriage. This Five of Pentacles feeling left out in the cold. It's funny. Came out with strength, and that's your card here, Leo. Um, you guys have great inner strength. Release harsh judgments, forgiveness, and compassion. Maybe something to do with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Follow your intuition. Have patience and consider carefully what you want before you act. And it's so funny. Before, I guess you guys get really overly defended. Defensive Seven of Wands is kind of telling me you guys are just, you know, expecting others to fight. Um, balance out your emotions. Follow your intuition if this has something to do with fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Finding out this truth but feeling strong love for this person with this King of Cups. And message was you guys are awakening. Look at things from a different perspective. It's just a temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. And your hopes and fears, and it's funny is what is also in the past. King of um, Swords is the King of Swords here. You guys need to speak your mind with confidence. Seek out help if you need to. Balance your um, mental and emotional thoughts. Things are, <coughs> Things are changing, like my voice. Okay, you guys are still hanging in my tree right now because you're looking for the truth, and I feel like it's something to do with self-employment, not something earthly matter. The Nine of Pentacles here is saying that you guys are just enjoying life's little luxury and spending time to yourself. That's why you're hanging in a tree. Okay, this Ten of Fire, uh, ten of Wands in the past, it was so much of something. You guys, it threw your life out of balance. Stress-related health concerns was the issue, and that's why maybe that's why it's like, you know, tied to the Ten of Swords. You guys are going to be renewed. Whatever this is, this injustice that you guys, whatever, whether it be you, or your partner, maybe a Libra, or letting go of your burden, something that is in your environment right now, you need to review and evaluate the situation, a, favor a favorable assessment of facts. Time to move in a very new direction. That's what I have, and let's see. I feel strongly all the water signs came out upright. You guys are probably moving forward with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Playfulness, calling in your soulmate. In the past, give it a chance. In your outcome, your healing family issues, and it's funny how it says enjoy quiet time. And um, that was something, you know, earthly matters and why you're hanging in my tree. Brilliant new ideas, you need to trust in it. Whatever is coming towards yourself, you need to love yourself first. You guys in, the, in your environment, they're probably disconnecting from you for a little bit because their message was you guys need to renew this relationship, if not retreat. Children, maybe something you guys need to take care of at home is affecting your love life. And that's why there's no movement for it just yet. You need to balance out what you guys want and make a decision. I really hope this helped you guys. Um, I hope you guys have a great week, and I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.